Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to encrypt a password in C Sharp. Okay, so in today's era, security is one of the major concern, and that's why every application needs to be have the password in the encrypted format. So let me just show you how to encrypt the password. Let's start with this. I'm making this large, and let me just create a GUI for like sign up. Okay. So let me just drag and drop few labels and let me just set this. I need text boxes. Okay. Let me just make it large and just copy and paste to replicate it. Now after that, I need one more label to show the encrypted password and let me just one need one button so just drag and drop it here so let me just make it a bit small so let me just change the name quickly so if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe and just let me, let me change the font of this sign up just bold and just look something really nice so let me just say 14 that is now it's looking nice so let this change to username and this one to password okay And just let me change the name of this button that is let me just sign up what I need is when I click on this sign up this password the text from this pass uh, text box needs to be encrypted and shown on this label okay so how to do that let me just change the name of this text box to so let me just change the design name that is txt uh, user name and just let me change this to txt password so and for this button let me just change this to button uh, sign up now I'm going to use this MD5 algorithm. So before starting, let me just tell you that what is MD5? MD5 algorithm is widely used for hash function producing a 128-bit hash value. So MD5 generates 128-bit hash value and once the, uh, once the text is uh, passed through this MD5 algorithm, then it cannot be decrypted, okay? So it's one way process MD5 and MD5 full form is message digest 5. Okay, so now we are going to use that. So just sign up, just double click on this to generate a click event. And we have to use one, uh, sorry, we have to import one package and that is, let me just import this. So I'm using system.windows dot forms and after that I will create a static method and just say encrypt and just take string value okay and after that just inside this we will use using md5 md5 and just control and just type md5 cryptography
Okay, let me just write this. Crypto service provider. And after that, we are going to take a uh, object name that is, let me just say MD is equal to new MD5 crypto service provider. Here we go. And I'll just close this. Okay. So why this is not showing? Could not found anything missing. Assembly reference. Okay. Let me just check it. So here we go. It's now showing correct because I have problem uh, problem with my form. So just I have changed the form. So that's not an issue. So let's start. Uh, now we need is UDF eight encoding to encode this. And just uh, just let me create the name object of this UDF eight is equals new UDF8 encoding and after that you just need to use byte I'm using this byte and data is equal to MD dot compute hash and I want to compute hash for UDF8 dot get bytes and from where we not want these bytes from this value so just write this value here and just close the bracket and return the generated hash value okay so convert dot to base 64 string and what we want to return is data so here we go so now our method is ready so let me just when I want that when I click on the sign up button the text from this text was needs to be encrypted and shown on this level so how to do that so for that first let me just check that if the text box is empty or not so for that you just need to use this is null or empty and for which uh, we want to check is txt password dot text and if it's empty then show that message box dot show please enter your password and in this I want a button message sorry first okay let me just name this to the name of this message box will be message and after that I need one button so message box button dot ok and after that I need the icon so message box icon dot warning let me just give him warning that your message box is empty and if it's not empty then what we need to do is we just need to do is uh, let me just level four that's the level four okay so it's level four in this level four i want to set the um encrypted password so level four dot text is equals okay so level four dot text dot equal and this this uh, method name here you can see this uh, encrypt and in this we want to pass the value that is from textbook password dot text and just save it and start it and now when I enter okay some name like this and let me just enter password one two three like this and just sign up here you can see this it generates the md5 algorithm that is 125 28 bit hash value and for each time it will be same so there is nothing changing so let me just enter sonu and just click on sign up if you delete this and if you just re-enter some other value it will be changed and if you enter the sonu it will still show the previous value here you can see this nxq5 let me just change this and just and 
now let's back here you can see this nx cube I've always it's giving the same value for each password okay so uh, we cannot actually decrypt this so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and for more videos just go and check out my playlist i also made projects and thanks